Good day everyone, Starlink is changing the game for internet access worldwide and now there's a new option on the table, Starlink Mini. But how does it compare to the original Starlink uh, standard dish? If you're trying to decide which setup is right for you, whether you're living off grid, uh, traveling or just want a compact solution, this video breaks it all down. Let us begin. So firstly let's start with the obvious size and portability. Uh, the standard dish, often called the Dishy, is about 20 inch inches wide and weighs around 9.2 pounds. It's meant to be mounted permanently and isn't exactly portable. The standard uh, Starlink Mini, however, is significantly smaller at 11.4 inches wide and weighs uh, just 2.4 pounds. It's compact enough to fit in a backpack and runs off USB-C PD power meaning it can be powered by a power bank or solar setup, perfect for mobile users or van lifers. Now speed and performance. Uh, Starlink standard typically delivers speeds between 52 to and 50 megabytes, depending on your location and network congestion. Latency averages around 30 to 50 milliseconds, making it usable for gaming and video calls. The Mini is uh, no slouch either, it promises around 50 to 100 megabytes a second with similar latency. While it's slightly slower, it still supports streaming, uh, video conferencing and browsing without major compromises. So in short, the standard offers better peak performance, but the Mini holds its own surprisingly well. Now power and installation. So the Mini's biggest strength is low power usage and possibility. It can run on just 20 to 30 watts compared to the standard dish, which often draws 50 to 75. Setup is also easier. The Mini is truly plug and play, designed for temporary setups. Uh, great for camping, road trips or emergency situations. The standard requires a fixed install, roof mounting and typically runs off your home power system. Now availability and cost. Uh, so here's, so here's where here's... things get interesting. The standard dish is widely available and works with all Starlink plants, residential, Rome, and business. The Mini is currently limited to select users in the US with Rome plans only, and as of mid 2025 still requires you to already have an existing account. The Mini kit costs around $599 USD, while the standard uh, dish ranges from uh, $499 to $599, depending on your plan. So you're not really saving money with the Mini, it's about form factor, not price. Right, so which one should you get? So choose the Starlink standard if you want the fastest speeds, the permanent setup and wide coverage and go for the Starlink Mini if you need a portable, low power setup for travel or emergencies and don't mind being on their own plan. So both use the same Starlink satellite network, so it really comes down to your use case. Let us know which you'd pick in the comments and of course, thanks for watching.